I know cooking fish can be a bit divisive. It can be slimy to handle, when it cooks it can be smelly, and do you buy fresh or frozen, and oh, how do you deal with a whole fish? Well, don't worry, I completely understand. I love eating fish, and I know health-wise it's really worthwhile for all those fabulous omega-3s that keep our hearts healthy and stave off cancer and inflammation, but I have to admit, I'm not the bravest when it comes to dealing with fish. I've got a few tips though about choosing fish and about cooking it so that your hands and your home remain smell free. Well, fish types vary from region to region, but a few things are true everywhere. Firstly, buy from the best source possible, as you want to avoid farmed fish. Generally speaking, farmed fish doesn't have the same level of nutrients and it can cause inflammation, and they're often treated with antibiotics, which we definitely don't want to be eating. Now when it comes to buying frozen or fresh, fresh is great if you know that it really is fresh. Well, a lot of fish is frozen on the boats these days, so arguably frozen could mean even fresher. Just do your best to still buy a local fish, as a lot of frozen fish travels a very long way and can have been in the deep freeze for many months. Right, now to the fun cooking part. If you have some reasonably firm fillets, like salmon or cod or whatever your local robust fish is, you can make a lovely almond crust and bake it in the oven. Or wrap each one up in baking paper along with some Asian flavours of garlic and chilli, ginger, a little tamari, and bake them in the oven. Making a light curry is also great for flaky fish. And then for lighter, more delicate fish, you can dust the fillets with spices and simply pan fry them in a little olive oil or coconut oil. Of course, there are endless options for cooking fish, and we'll do more of that in the cooking series. But for now, go on, be brave and buy some fish. Thanks for watching Tweaklets. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.